Hi, and welcome to Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College Nursing Online Pre-Admission Conference. My name is Joy Pennington. I'm the Nursing Program Coordinator for both the RN and the LPN programs on the Middlesbrough and the Cumberland campus. I'm going to be walking you through the process to fill out and complete this online mandatory training in order for you to apply for our fall 2020 semester by March the 1st. Okay, here we have pulled up the form for the pre-admission conference record, which is step two after you watch my introductory video. And what you're gonna do here, if you are a brand new nursing student applying to one of our programs, you've never been in a nursing program or you're not a readmit, you're gonna click new. If you are a readmit, regardless of where you went, you will click readmission right here. Okay, and then of course, you're going to select which campus you're applying for. We have an RN campus, or an RN program on the Cumberland campus and an RN program on the Middlesbrough campus. So you're gonna select which one you are applying to. You cannot apply to both, unfortunately. Next, are you an LPN that want to bridge into our program? If you are, you're going to select LPN to RN Bridge. The evening weekend PN program is on the Cumberland campus only. So if you are interested in getting into our PN program, you are going to select PN. If you have, so this is for the March 1st deadline programs that will start in the fall. Next, you'll simply check fall, okay? You don't have to click anything or check anything else unless you are a readmit student. If you are, then you are gonna put the class that you are trying to readmit to. Next, we're gonna need your social security number and your student ID if you have one birth date, and clearly print your name and your mailing address. Please give us a valid mailing address um, in order to get your letter if you are accepted to our program. If you have a school email account, use that one. If not, use the one that you will be checking on a regular basis. Complete the rest of this. If you are a readmit or you've been in another program, this right here that says previously attended a nursing program, you are actually going to select yes if you're a readmit, and you're going to tell us where you went, when, and why you exited the program. Next is the medication nurse or the Medicaid rather nurse aid. And if you are currently on the registry, no matter when you took the course and you're active, you'll, you'll select yes, and you'll need to provide us proof of that. If you have completed the course, then but you've not taken the state test, then you're gonna select yes and tell us what year you completed that. Uh, the next one is that you're currently enrolled, and that's a yes or no, or you anticipate taking this course where at and when, and for the March 1st deadline, you can still be planning to take the course, but you have to complete it before uh, August classes begin. Now, for our LPN to RN Bridgers, this is what you would select. If you're an LPN, you're gonna select yes. You're gonna tell us when you graduated. You're gonna tell us how many years you've been employed as an LPN, or if you uh, are currently employed at all and then we're going to ask you where, and we will need proof of um, employment. Now, the next step is to read the statements. I have been informed that in order to comply with clinical requirements of affiliating healthcare agencies, if I am admitted to the program, I must obtain a criminal background check and drug screening test. Some affiliating agencies may deny students the right to participate in clinical learning experiences at their facilities based on the results of the, of the above documents. The Kentucky Board of Nursing may deny a nursing graduate admission to the nursing or to the licensure exam if an individual has been convicted of a misdemeanor or felony which involves acts that bear directly on the qualifications of the graduate to practice nursing. Now, what this means is that you could graduate from us with top honors and unfortunately, 
The Board of Nursing, if there is something on your record, can refuse to allow you to sit, and we do not have control of that, but we are legally required to let you know that that could be a risk if you do have something on your background and you should be aware of it before starting the program. Then you're going to print your name, sign it, and date it. The next step to our pre-admission conference online is to read the information packet for the program that you are interested in. Now, regardless of the campus, as far as the associate degree, which is the RN program, um, you will click this packet, okay? If you are interested in the LPN program on the Cumberland campus, then you're gonna click LPN pre-admission information packet. You need to read through this thoroughly. It gives you information on our accreditation, the cost of the program, information on how to take the PACS exam or sign up for the PACS exam if you are going to apply for either one of these programs. And for our LPN to RN Bridge students, it's going to give you information on the NACE exam as well as how we score you and how you um, are chosen or selected to, to admit our program. Once you have read um, your information packet for the program that you're interested in, and you have learned what it is that you need to put in your application packet, you will also download the application to the nursing program. This is different from the pre-admission conference record. So make sure that you do complete this step. This will, be e this will be mailed along with your transcripts and everything else that you were told in your information packet to supply, okay? Once you have completed this application and you have everything that you need according to the information packet to turn in for application by March the 1st of 2020, you're gonna submit that. Now, to submit that, you are going to email your application packet to Ms. Shanna Lewis. This is included in the pre-admission information packet for your respective program. And your pre-admission conference record needs to be mailed to our nursing program administrative assistant, Ms. Deb Roark. So again, the entire packet, including the application to the nursing program is to be mailed to Shanna Lewis, which the address is supplied in the information packet you selected. The pre-admission conference record that you filled out needs to be mailed to Miss Deb Roark, 700 College Road.